hey what's up guys this is AJ and uh, today we are going to talk about the physics optional as uh, we have discussed that uh, we are selecting physics optional as our optional subject in our CSC civil service examination okay so pardon me if you uh, hear a noisy voice noise uh, in the video because I'm uh, you know reside in a very crowded area and my microphone is very sensitive so it is possible that you will hear various noises but uh, kindly ignore, ignore them and uh, let's uh, proceed further regarding this optional subject see what is the syllabus first of all we have to discuss the syllabus then and then only we will be able to conquer the physics optional okay so as we know that uh, there are two paper in one optional subject okay the number one is paper one and the second one is paper two uh, and also you will find that the paper is further divided into two sections that is section a and section b okay so right now we are looking at the paper first section a okay so what the it considers is that uh, under it you have to study the classical mechanics then uh, special relativity waves then waves then geometrical optics then physical optics then interference uh, then diffraction polarization and modern optics okay so these are the topics we have to cover under the paper one section a okay so uh, see mechanics is a simple one because uh, you just have mm, you m might have covered that in your 12th standard it is uh, but the problem will be difficult but the formulas and the theorems and the laws in the mechanics are very simple to understand the most important subject in a section a is optics uh, if you study the question papers previous years question paper you will find that more weightage is given to the optics so you will set, see that the half of the portion in a section A is uh, dedicated to optics uh, geometrical optics, physical optics, then interference, diffraction, then polarization and modern optics okay so this is the thing we have to uh, what we will do is that we will understand the simple concepts of mechanics and then we will shift our focus towards the optics cause uh, we know that optics is more important than the mechanics okay then uh, we will see the section b of paper one uh, you will find electrostatics and uh, magnetostatics okay then current electricity and then uh, magnetic theory then black body radiation then thermodynamics and statistical physics okay so these are the subjects you will uh, came across when if you have done engineering uh, these subjects are taught in a first year of engineering okay so you might be familiar with the these topics uh, but uh, no problem if you don't have any idea about this uh, we will cover everything regarding this okay and uh, as a the we know that thermodynamics is a most important subject topic in a uh, section B so what we will do is that we will cover the electrostatics and magnetostatics and then we will uh, shift our focus towards the thermodynamics because it is an important uh, topic in a section B okay and then uh, paper 2 is there then we will see the topics in a section A of paper 2 see you will find quantum mechanics 1 and quantum mechanics 2 ok so this mechanics is uh, different than uh, mm, you know the mechanics in a first paper ok so we have to study it uh, very carefully because there are uh, you know difficult formulas and difficult theorem to understand in this quantum mechanics 1 and 2 so we have to study the quantum mechanics carefully 
then atomic physics and molecular physics are the topics in a section e see atomic physics and molecular physics are very easy to understand and the problem are also quite easy comparison with the my quantum mechanics one and two so what we will do is that our primary focus in this section e will be quantum mechanics okay uh, one and two and then uh, paper two section uh, b uh, it deals with the nuclear physics then particle physics then solid state physics and electronics see if you see that uh, these the topics covered under the section b are theoretical one uh, you will not find uh, many problems in uh, nuclear physics and particle physics but uh, if you see the question paper you will find that uh, very rarely they ask theoretical question in 90 percent of the question paper is a uh, problems okay uh, so we have to find the various problems regarding these topics and we have to solve them because uh, solving more and more problem will give us a confidence to uh, write the paper okay so uh, our primary focus in this section b is to find out various problems and solve them that's it then uh, what will be the books that we will be using uh, to uh, you know the study these mm, topics okay so these are the books uh, we are going to refer uh, see there is a we know that uh, in a section a of a paper one the primary focus is on optics and the best uh, book for optics is a uh, optics uh, fifth edition by the uh, ajay ghatak sir okay uh, so we have you have to buy that book then uh, the mechanics the mechanics uh, by the ds mathuran hemne um, deals with the um, mechanics in a paper one section a okay uh, it doesn't deal uh, with the quantum mechanics okay then uh, thermal physics is there by bansal garg and ghosh uh, this we will be using for thermodynamics as we know that uh, thermodynamics is a major topic in a section B of paper one. Okay, then electrodynamics is also the major topic in a section B of paper one. So for this, we will uh, use introduction of electrodynamics by David J. Griffiths. Okay, so while buying this book, you have to take care because uh, there is a reference book by David J. Griffiths uh, on the same subject. Uh, which costs costs fifteen thousand rupees. Okay, so you have to buy the five hundred uh, rupees edition of this book, uh, not the fifteen thousand rupees. Okay, it is because it is a reference book. That's not useful for us. Then there is quantum physics. Uh, for this, we will be going to refer uh, two books uh, because uh, there are very less problem in a uh, Robert is Berg's book and uh, but his uh, theory is very good so for theory we will be referring quantum physics by Robert Isberg and for problem solving uh, we will be using quantum physics by H.C. Verma okay and besides these books uh, we will try to get uh, notes of uh, Diaz Academy uh, which is in uh, Delhi which uh, you know has a specialization in a uh, physics optional so we will try to get uh, in their notes and uh, we will also try to solve the problems uh, in those uh, uh, notes and the test series uh, given taken by this academy okay so this is our primary thing now another thing i want to discuss with you guys is that see uh, right now you will get only uh, one video per week uh, on the physics optional subject as we know that prelim is uh, uh, you know on the verge so um, we will be um, focusing on prelim uh, rather than optional so but still you will get one video per one week uh, that's my promise and in those videos what we will be doing is that 
we will cover the we will try to cover every aspect of syllabus okay so what we will go be going to do is that uh, we will take any sub topic from the uh, major topics and uh, we will find various uh, laws in that we will uh, try to understand those laws only understanding will be focused in those videos we will not solve any problem and we will not focus on any other thing but just to understand every topic and what is the uh, um, topic is designed for and what purpose it serves uh, these types of thinking will be done in those videos okay so for uh, every one week uh, you will get one video and uh, uh, in those videos we will cover the understanding of uh, various uh, subtopics and various theorems and various laws okay uh, after that when preliminary examination will be over uh, that means after f on 24th august we will start full preparation of physics optional uh, and in that preparation our focus will be on solving maximum numbers of problems uh, this is the only solution or this is only the way to conquer the physics optional subject uh, first we have to understand the concepts and then we have to apply those concepts in those problems and then and then only we will be master in our subject and we will score 300 plus marks uh, in this subject just uh, think about that if you score uh, 350 or uh, or uh, 370 marks in optional subject uh, so they at that time no one will stop you from getting to an interview call okay you will definitely get a interview call and hope you must hope that you will pass the examination for that uh, it is very important to you know to master in our uh, physics optional subject so thanks uh, guys for watching this video and i will meet you guys in my next video peace